do right here is go back, back, way back, back into time. All right, we're on the hot. Wow, I didn't change the names. I'll change it back later. And we got Is Haji Gaming here. Uh, we're gonna bring him in. We're gonna have some fun with him. He is a. He's basically streaming all over the place. Um, he's having fun wherever he can. I hope. And he's there. Boom. Hi, Is Haji Gaming. How's it going, man? Not too bad. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Now, um, tell me something. Where? How did you start with Marvel Strike Force and videos on YouTube? Because it's kind of where I found you at mostly. Yeah. Marvel Strike Force, if I'm being honest with you, it's literally just a game I picked up after being interested in like Marvel lore. So I picked it up, played it for a few months, put it down for like a year, and then a close buddy of mine actually convinced me to pick it back up, and then that's when I started grinding like crazy and slaving away to it <laughs> and i always watched a lot of content creators like i always like went hard in the leaderboards like i always tried to max everything so i was always watching content creators and then um i had some health issues so i'm like partially disabled um so i decided let's try youtube and twitch now to see if i can generate that as an income as well because i'm really passionate mm. about the game what what wait you're you're passionate about this game yeah yeah like i'm passionate enough about it that i think i could create content about it consistently because i enjoy it okay because <sighs> the... this game is funny this game is really funny like it's it it's needs to everyone. stop doing a lot of garbage that it does but whatever we're all here because we like marvel strike force to some extent, and if we like Marvel Strike Force, but we like the community better. So I'll say that. We like the community ten times better because the community is basically what we all we're all here for. If I think if the community wasn't the way it was right now, I think a lot of people would not be sticking around with it. Cause 1, this game Yeah, this game has done some interesting transformations over the past five years but the fact that a mobile game is lasting this long it's doing pretty damn good i think it's okay um do you do what what do you mean windstorm what do you mean by other things maybe clarify that just a little bit i could ask do you play um, do you play any other games yeah so i haven't started streaming them yet i'm gonna stream seven days to die tonight which is just a survival game but i'm gonna start streaming like Call of Duty here and there, Fortnite here and there, like just random, random games that I play with my friends. Um, but the main thing will always be Marvel Strike Force. Ooh, see, already putting Marvel Strike Force on top. That's nice. <laughs> I yeah. mean, the uh, the the only thing I say about Marvel Strike Force because it's lasted this long is that I don't even want to consider it a mobile game anymore. I'm going to consider it a streaming service. Because that's initially what it is now. It's here. It's always here. It may fuck up. But if you're going to pay, you'll pay to get more stuff. But it's basically a streaming service. Because at least with other games, like console games or anything, any any PC type games where you got to buy it, put it in there, there's a beginning, middle, and end. We had a beginning. We have no idea where the middle is. And we definitely don't know where the fucking end is. So... It, this game could keep going as long as people keep flooding it with money. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't end too soon. I like the game, nope. not the business, yeah. basically. I totally agree with you on that one. Yes, the the business model they got going is... I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking about, but... Oh, wow. Did you, like, disappear or something like that? So, now, what if... Is it just going to be PC? Is it going to be other consoles too? Or what What type um, of titles are you looking at? I have it set up for PC right now. Like, I'm limited to equipment. Um, so I have it set up for PC. So right now, for now, it's going to be PC titles, mostly. But I'm going to set it up on my console as well, because I have a PS5. Um, 
Like, I, I'm new to this whole thing and I'm learning, so I'm starting with PC titles, and then I'll go from there. It 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 does take a little bit of a uh, little bit of um, finesse to get the to get the stuff set up for it, but. Hey, Pathy, this is Is Haji Gaming. He is a new streamer and new... He's been on YouTube more than streaming, but he's 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 here. He's here to help. And he he actually said something that 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 is that is actually kind of cool. He he wants to actually stream Marvel Strike Force as his main game. Um, but hey, yeah, it's just uh, so it, there's uh, seven days to die. I think does Run play that? That sounds really familiar. I think Run I think played it's a game it. Game he would play. Yeah, I think I think he played it. He like he, yeah, they, him cleaning agent. They like the survival games. I don't mind playing. I don't mind playing it for a little bit, but they're the times that they all get together to play it. I'm bogged down with wife, so can't do that. But it's not it. It. it I think it's pretty good. The survival games I do like to a point. They're very time consuming. Um, like you have to have yes. the time or else there's no point in playing it. Well, you got some time. Um now why now did you did you grow up reading the comics or anything with Marvel? Was it just uh I'm just gonna do this just because or it's a pretty lame backstory. I just it's honestly just the MCU. The MCU hooked me. I then <laughs> made sure I didn't miss anything and now I'm, I'm interested in getting some comics now. So I'm, I'm a late bloomer, basically. There's a lot of comics. A lot of comics. And the multiverse is like nothing compared to the comics. Just the comic oh, multiverse know. can go nuts. It's ridiculous. Although you can find them, find a lot of comics for under a buck for none of the more legendary ones. But you could read a lot of stuff on them. It would be very interesting um are you into like dc as well other other bats surprisingly no? no like aside from batman i don't really care about dc that much yes. i Fuck i think DC. it's terrible like i am this is speaking on movies this is not speaking on comics um i don't know anything about dc comics so they could be amazing um but i don't care to see much <laughs> Yeah, DC doesn't really... Well, I will say one thing. DC animation movies are top fucking notch. I will say that. The DC animation movies are really fucking good because they're really close to the source material. They change some things now and then, but the the that they they can be actually quite good. But the the rest of the, the rest of DC, their movies, they fucking suck balls. The TV show was okay until COVID hit and that sucked balls. They just don't know. I, I think they were just like, we're just going to throw it out there and have Superman and Batman and maybe they'll carry us somewhere and it can only carry you so far. Yeah, it just but, it seems like they're going in the wrong direction, but they'll probably flip it around. I bet. I like James Gunn. I don't know if I got too much faith in him to try to revive it but then again we don't know until we see it so yeah um, basically the, the content is there they just have to be mm -hmm. able to put it together so even if it takes five or ten years to like restart reset building blocks are there you just aren't doing the right things with it yet yeah yet and i'll they're gonna come out with like Superman and all that, and we're gonna see all of them. It's gonna be like, ooh, it'll be, it should be interesting. Some of the characters are trying to, but I'll give it some, I'll give it some hope, because we Superman don't got no hope with... from Marvel Strike Force. No, not really. But Superman with no Henry Cavill, remember? Yeah, I don't. I, I would. I, I, I really enjoyed Man of Steel because it was so different than what the other portrayals of Superman have been so far. And I was like, oh, well, shit, they really threw some of uh, the normal stuff right out the window. This is great. I'd like to see it. And then they were going to try to connect it with others, but then I think they were going too fast. So... Yeah, not enough planning. Just, yeah. yeah, they didn't plan it out too much. They planned it out with, uh, 
They never plan out their trailers because they give out too much shit with their trailers. Um, how do you feel about Blue Beetle? I'm probably going to get roasted. <laughs> what is Blue Beetle? All right, enough said with that. Okay, so fuck it. DC ain't shit. He doesn't know what Blue Beetle is, and that works out great because no one probably really does. Um, he is big in the comics for DC, but he's not super big like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and that. So, eh. But they're trying. They're trying to come out. They're, they're, they're coming out with a movie for Blue Beetle for DC, and it's... It's a little wonky, but whatever. They're trying their hands at anything. Um, is there any other... Did you watch, like... So you said you watched the MCU. Did you watch, like, outside of the MCU, the Netflix shows, any of the Freeform yeah. stuff, Agents yeah, the of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Fenders, uh, Agents oh. of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, all the, like, X-Men animation like uh, TV shows that are on Disney. Um, I, I watch everything that I can get my hands on. So all the shows, everything that I possibly can that fits in with the like the um, MCU lore. So what do you, what what is your take on Agents of Shield? Decent show, suck balls. How would you rate it? Let's get let's go from like one to ten. Uh, six or seven. Like I was I was able to watch it, but I wasn't like, wow, this is an amazing show. Like, it kind of kept me, but it didn't wow me. Uh, I'll agree with that. Yeah, it didn't wow me. Uh, the first season felt a little... The first season felt a little, uh. But I did like the fact that it tied into the movie. And they kept trying to tie into movies, but they weren't pushing it as much. And it was like... I don't feel like a really big connection here. It's not hitting me in the face with it. It's like, eh, whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a pre-MCU era. And then, uh, have you watched any of the... I'm assuming you watched all the TV shows up till now for the MCU, at least where they're connecting now with Phase 4 and 5? Sadly, yes, I've watched She-Hulk. <laughs> yeah. She, I mean, She-Hulk was... Uh... All right, people give a lot of shit for She-Hulk, but if you read her comics, they're just as fucking crazy. They're literally just as yeah. fucking crazy. She-Hulk's comics are fucking out the fucking. There, there, there's some Beetlejuice type crazy shit that, that happens in there. They're, they're, they're really fucking crazy. Um, we got a trailer for Loki season two. That I'm incredibly excited for. One hundred percent. That. I... Is that my favorite Marvel show so far? Is it? Aside from Daredevil. Okay, Daredevil on oh. Netflix. Or no, um, Punisher. Oh, fuck, man. Uh, see, see those, two. Now, those are good. Yeah, god damn. All right, so I would probably put Daredevil over Punisher just because Daredevil came out first and they hit you with some of those fight scenes and you were like, <laughs> those were great uh story wise punisher great in daredevil yeah there's more punisher in there um kingpin vincent denario man that guy just portrays kingpin perfectly and i don't want to uh, i mean he was only in it for a little bit anyway for the mcu but I hope they I hope they let him play off a lot more in the series. I really do. That will probably be brilliant. amazing. Yeah, he is it just is ridiculous how it's just fucking crazy. Um Punisher I swear to god, they better keep the Punisher the same way in the MCU and it'll it'll just fly off the handles. It'll fly off the handles. Um Now Loki season 1 was pretty damn interesting definitely yeah yeah it was very unique it was very like wow you really got to pay attention to this because like wow i really want to see where they're going to go with him now now seeing the trailer for season two is there anything there that you caught that you're going oh my god i think i should go back and rewatch something for one to see if i caught something or i missed something if I'm being honest with you, I just want to rewatch the last episode 
I just I can't for the life of me remember because it just there's show after show after show and in that it was so action-packed uh, Loki season one didn't they finish off with Kang yeah it, up in the um, okay I remember now um, to be honest with you I think it kind of explains itself how it's going to tie in with the Kang timeline and they're going to have to be like an essential part of that. I'm, I'm hoping we get a lot more with it. I, I want to know if we know he, he, he remains is done. He's gone. He's dead. Uh, we know Ant-Man's King is dead. Um, we don't know how many Kings we? we're going to see. Well, Ant-Man's King. He's gone. He's gone. We don't know if he's dead around. or he's gone. We don't know. He's not around, but it wouldn't matter. We still got a billion mother. We still got a billion other kings to deal with that were all in that coliseum and shit. So we know there is a shitload more. We have no idea which one we're which one's gonna pop up out of the blue or something. We know the one from Loki season two, which is great that they still kept with it. I'm, I'm guessing they held off the trailer for season two to find out what happened with all the accusations and shit and was like, well, if we got to take them out, we'll wait to the last possible minute and then boom, we'll show it. Now we got him, which is great. I thought he was a pretty goddamn good Kang from Ant-Man, although Ant-Man felt like it was missing something. I don't know what, but it was missing still something. Still the best Ant-Man so far, though, I think. Um, from a humor perspective, I might like no, it a different style, I, but I liked it from a humor. Yeah, I humor. The, the, there was a lot of comedy in it. It felt like it was moved. It just felt like something was just off with it. Like, uh, what's her face? Um, what's her face's powers? They didn't say nothing about that. Like she had them, but now she didn't even use them. And then two. Luis wasn't in there to give us this recap. That would have been great. That would have been good. Even if it was, even if it was, if he jumped in at the end and did it, just to make a joke of how everything went down, that would have been great. We didn't get him, so that was. Uh, but I think this Ant Man was, I it, it was meant to do one thing, and that was Kang. That was basically it. Kang. We're gonna use a smaller character because both Ant Man movies were like, eh whatever they're there Miniscule. and now this one was like wow you got to pay attention to it otherwise it's you know you're screwed but i don't know they they i like kang i like kang in the comics i hope his portrayal gets even better but if you had to choose a villain right now out of the ones that you've seen in the mcu which one would you probably say is like your let's go with the top two like for just favorite, like my personal. Yeah, 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 it don't matter. Yeah. Um, I was in a, like a huge fan of Hella. I thought Oof. the Hella movie was just like top notch. I thought she was amazing. Um, another one yet to be formally introduced, but kind of introduced a long time ago, Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom <laughs> is just like such a OP alpha character, and he just dominates everything he touches and so mm. as soon as you put a movie or even comics around him it's just it's always entertaining i find did you like the little easter eggs in moon knight <sighs> what is the easter egg i don't remember it's been what when did that come out eight months ago Shit. it's been a it's been a good minute it's been a good while since moon knight came. i enjoyed moon knight because it was that, yeah. just like crazy and i like oscar isaac and I loved it. They had a yeah. They they had it. They had the little. I think they had boxes in the truck or something that was from him. And then I think I think he woke up in uh, Latvia, so he was there. Or Latvia, or however the I, fuck you say it. I, so that's I, I how they were there. Because we were like, man, this seems really fucking odd. That that the whole set, the whole landscape and stuff was just getting really ooh. And then we saw the we saw the stuff on the boxes that were talking about it from. From him and we're like oh that would be awesome if he's there like but moon knight itself was i don't know how you That's sit there and one. like 
yeah. Like, how do you not see those huge ass, huge ass beings just up there fighting their ass off by some pyramids and nobody recorded it? I don't know. You, but sadly, you gotta for filmmaking, you gotta put holes in the logic sometimes to make it exciting. Yeah. It's a sad truth because we all hate it, but at the same time, us MSFers sometimes ask for a little bit too much and don't like what we get back. Sadly, we're all we're all that way. Now, how? So you you said you picked up the game, played it, and then said, "Fuck it, we're done." Mm. And then you came back. So. What was it? What what was the reason you left? You put you put Marvel Strike Force on the shelf. I just I wasn't as interested in Marvel yet, so I was just kind of playing the game because I like hero collectors and upgrading games. Then I just decided to put it down because it like it was during COVID as well. So I started working uh, again. I didn't have enough time on my hands, and the lack of interest made me quit. And my buddy's showing it to me after again. Okay. What? Now, if I'm hearing this right, you seem like the exact opposite of everything that's happened with COVID. Motherfuckers picked up this game during COVID. They yeah. stopped working during COVID. But and got more interested in the game. And you did the opposite of that. Like you just said, fuck it, boom. Uh, well, hey, you got a job. Great. That's good for you. You picked up the game, was like, ooh, and then became uninterested, and then was just like, yeah, fuck it, whatever. It's great. But then halfway the through COVID, I decided to spend all waking hours of the day on it, so. <laughs> <laughs> I had to play catch up. Can... My buddy was 10 mil ahead of me. I had to play catch up. Ooh. It, it, it can be a little time consuming. It can be a little time consuming. Now, compared, to, okay, so from the time you started playing till the time you stopped, what was like the big. What was like the one thing that said, I'm just getting, yeah, I don't, yeah, no, I'm done with this. Fuck this game and whatever the bottleneck was or whatever pushed you out. Like, what was the big stopper that probably got you the most uninterested in the game? Sadly, it was just lack of caring, if I'm being honest with you. Like, the sad news is, as bad as Scopely is, they've got me in their grips now. Like, as much as I'm mad at the game, I don't know if I'm going anywhere. I don't know if I should say that publicly, but it's it's an addiction. It's a it's an addictive game. Yeah, it, it can be. It, it could take up a lot of your time because obviously blitzing, which fuck you, Scopely. But I mean, Blitzing back in the day when there was like 10, 12 teams, it wasn't that big of a fucking deal. It really wasn't. But no. it was it was interesting because you're like, wow, I got to make sure I got the right characters on on my five-man squad to beat the squad that pops up. Now you got mm. certain teams, certain synergies, shit like that. We know which ones could beat them, which ones won't. But now it's more based on... T now it's... L now we know more about speed mechanics and how much how many speed mechanics these guys throw in there and we're like damn but i mean with every with every character available that's out right now you could have 50 teams i would not blitz manually with all of them screw that three hours no later. way in hell no way in hell um but uh, were you excited for Sim Blitz? Yeah, I. That's likely one of the best. Oh, how do I word this? I don't want to word this wrong and have it taken wrong. It's one of the best quality of life improvements to come to the game. Not because any of us like Blitz, but because. Could you imagine not having it? I don't think I would keep playing it. No, nobody would touch I, I, it. I wouldn't. Like, maybe 1% of the 1%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think... Especially with the current event coming on, with playing a Blitz battle right now, if you had to do 50 of them, it would just be why... I would literally go in there and just end the battle. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah, and I don't like to sim. Like, I'm, I'm like you. I don't like to sim things. I like to play the game, 
play it out 100 percent i've been advocating for us to be able to craft more and actually just play the game versus mine like mindless clicking yeah the, the mindless well i understand the reasoning behind the sim button great that's cool but hmm. this is a hero collector battling game right away that should tell you there's going to be a winner and there's going to be a loser people somebody's gonna lose and sometimes marvel strike force is just like a casino the house wants to win at all costs and you might lose we can't cry about losing we just build up your roster and try to do better but there's only so much we can do before scopely pushes out another character or another scourge or something else with it and they punch you in the teeth and like well build up your roster even more grind even more because the grinding now is totally different than i remember it when i first started grinding was blitzing raiding um trying to do as many campaigns as you campaign nodes as you can to get as much energy to push for forward now it's like there's a lot of different shit you got to do and it's like it's not really focused on battling it's more on doing this this and this which really isn't battling too much and then getting the pro getting the rewards for it and i'm not a big fan of it most yeah, it's, of the a, time. it's a whole different game now mm. and that does happen with like most mobile games too is they just become too big for their own good like the content just builds and builds and builds i find but, like there's games that have avoided that like clash of clans beach like they're upgrading style games so like a similar uh structure of mobile game if that makes sense and they've been able to be fine lasting as long as they have so hopefully scopely can do the same um yeah there's no hope here we'll just say yeah <laughs> we, we, we hope they'll do it we hope they'll do it like okay so when you first heard about the player's voice before that did you hear were you around for any of the other attempts at trying to you know get the player base together and tell scopely like hey fix your shit so no i actually i wasn't um like heavy into the community at that point so this is my first time i've ever had anyone reach out to scopely and that's kind of why i'm blindly hopeful like just a little blindly hopeful because i know they've let us down before pretty bad yeah they, they they tend to keep doing it um we try to we try to just shrug it off and be like they'll fix it they'll fix it and to be fair i think we're probably going to be waiting a good minute for room one four and five and six to be fixed in crucible so I pray they'll do it by next week, but I have no hope. However, the player's voice compared to other small movements, however you want to call it, um, the player's voice actually put some stuff together and actually is pushing forward with things. And to, to be heard by a multi-million dollar company from the player base, is yeah it's a lot and it's great i'm not saying they're perfect i'm not saying they're not they're not you know completely shit but i would say the players movement is better than what i thought it was gonna be because i thought it was just gonna fall down like the rest of them and they're i don't know how the previous ones were but they're putting things in writing and it seems like they have incredible organization with it so i don't know if they did that before it no. seems like legitimate time and effort is getting put into this like, i, I no. feel like <laughs> it's an investment in, of money and time that all these people don't want to lose and so it's worth fighting for yeah they uh they uh, the previous little movements or sign holding thing it literally was like somebody holding up a fucking sign just saying help us with the game or some shit. It really was no organization whatsoever. People tried it. People tried to say strike from spending and the spenders were like, why? Don't tell yeah, me what to do with my happen. money. 
Yeah, not going to happen. Nope. And now, I mean, they, they've they really structured it and sent over actual documentation to Scopely. And when I first saw it, it was 43 pages. And I'm just like, some shit I read at work. Why are you... At first, I was like, yeah, I don't know if I... It's a corporation, and this is the type of shit they see on the daily. So they might actually take notice. And the only way it, to speak to them. Yeah. Like the the only way their to language. actually speak to them. Yeah, and they, they, they finally they, they took it. And I, I'm hoping it pushes, because I, I do love this game. I love Marvel. I think if this game had the ip of raid shadow legends we wouldn't be having this conversation <laughs> we wouldn't be here no. be gone no. i give no fucks about any of the characters in raid shadow legends i know none of them people are invested in this because they know the characters in some form or fashion it's not like a lot of people knew who the fuck phantomex was they were probably going oh shit bullseye got reworked and gave some guns probably what it was but there's a lot of things that the player's voice can help with. I'm hoping they can because I like the game. Now, you said you you, you like Hero Collector game. Were you, did you play others before this? Or yeah, a lot of like no name games. So I played like something called Clash of Lords. So it's like Clash of Clans, but you have heroes. Um, I can't remember. There are so many different little. You know, like how. There would be games like Raid Shadow Legends. I can't remember the names of them. There are a whole bunch of smaller name games, but like Raid Shadow Legends, you collect your heroes, build them up, fight them against each other. You'll have different game modes like and whatnot. And put your gear. I, I just can't put a name to the games. It's been a I long mean, time. Have you ever tried? Did you ever get a chance to play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes? Sadly, I picked it up. So I picked it up at the same time I picked up Marvel Strike Force, and I put it down and kept going with Marvel Strike Force. <laughs> so that's part of the timeline. I only played it for like a week. I won't lie. What Regrettably, was, though, what, like I probably would have loved it if I just gave it a chance. What detoured you from it? I think, and this might have changed, but UI. I find a lot of mobile games, you can tell if they're going to be any good by their user interface. And when it's too confusing, it's just a nightmare to play, I find. And um, so I, at that time, I yeah. believe the UI was really difficult to deal with. Um, and it just, I don't know, it didn't appeal enough to me to keep playing. That was yeah, like I... four or five years ago, I think, a long time. Every now and then I'll log back in because I played it for quite a while. But then I found Marvel Strike Force and I was just like, I did the same. I thought the same thing. The user interface was just shit. Uh, the amount of stats was confusing as fuck. I didn't know what I had to sit there and really, really look at it. And I was going, wow. And to be fair, right now, with all the, the different mechanics and the different things you got to look for in certain people's passives, that was like a staple in, in Star Wars to begin with. So it was like really? you had to kind of get used to it. Yeah, they're getting... Oh, my God. The passives in, in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes are long. They're like a fucking book. And then now they're getting to the point to where they're becoming a book. But, I mean, the game has to evolve. Otherwise, it stays the same and we get bored of it. Exactly. Like what I was saying yeah. earlier. Some games just they will get too big for their own good. Yeah. I do remember and... one name of one of the games, Dungeon Boss. I don't know if you've heard of it. It was slightly more popular. Another hero collector. I mean, to be fair, I see or see ads for dungeon type games, hero collector type games, stuff where they copy certain games. I'm actually testing a game right now for a company for it, and it's like it's like a tower defense game, but it's not. It's we. It's unique as shit, and it actually got me kind of interested in it. But Sign me I, up. I've I did like tower defense my whole life. I love tower defense games. I don't know why. I like it because I'm just sitting there going, I really want to destroy these guys. I don't want them to get from point A to point B. And yeah, 
what tower def what tower defense games have you played or try or or looked at uh, i've played all of them literally all of them i've searched the internet far and wide for every single one the main ones that i've like really invested time in is like bloons tower defense five and six Ooh. okay so i think i've got uh well it doesn't matter i never paid for it anyway so robo defense i i downloaded that one and i got the i got the full version because i know where to look and that one was pretty interesting especially when you get the full version because those up to level like 100 they just whip your ass there's just that the, you gotta really be on it otherwise it ain't happening um there was an alien game that i played a long time ago i can't remember what the, it's it's a it's a tower defense game but it's like with aliens in it and i can't remember what the fuck it was called but it was it was a weird Right? It's you definitely a tower it, right? defense. But you can't get the I, I can picture head. it because I feel. well, it's not on the, it's not on my PC here. It's on the PC in the family room, and I used to play it a shitload. And it had so many levels on it, but it was weird. At, it wasn't like the typical tower defense. So it was it was two D, but three. I want to say kind of two D, three D ish, where you kind of had to. It was either air or land, but it could be in mm -hmm. any direction. There was no like grid like this behind me. There was no grid where you defense? had to follow. No. It oh, has a you weird said aliens. Similar yeah, it to has that, aliens though, along no with it. Yeah, it has no. There's no grid formation on it. So you take it, you put wherever you want. You put them wherever you want at. You could stack them up, doubly stack them up. God damn, man! If I can remember the name of that game, that game was. It was fun, and then it died off. And then it came back with a sandbox mode, and you were like, yeah, we could do more with it. And then it was like, yeah, but now there's not that much to do with it. Because I think the, the creators of it were just like, eh, it's good. It's great. There's not too much more we could do. If you want to do something with it, great. But it's not like, eh. Um, yeah, damn, I can't so remember. Far. And I, I thought of another game I am going to be streaming 1,000%. I heard there's going to be zombies in Modern Warfare 3. I am like mm. massive zombies nerd for for COD zombies. So. <laughs> that's a thing that's happening every so, day. Every day. So yeah, what, like, what do you plan? Yeah. What 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 do you think your schedule is going to be like though? I don't I don't have one yet, but I do need to set one. So currently I'm not working. I like we don't get into the details, but like I said, partially disabled, so I'm not yeah, working yeah. currently. Um, I think I should set a schedule. Currently, it's just about one o'clock um, Atlantic time, so twelve Eastern each day. Okay. I usually uh, go for like an hour. If I'm playing a game like that, though, I'll probably go for three or four hours at least. I mean, for some games, and you already know it, you could blink. Three or four hours has gone by, and you're like, "Fuck! I didn't even go to the bathroom yet." Damn. Yeah, eh, that's crazy. Especially when you're into when you when you're into some bigger games. I that was kind of the way I did it with Mass Effect. I'd play Mass Effect for two minutes, two goddamn too many hours, and I was like, "Holy shit, man! Six hours went by. What the fuck?" Yeah, <laughs> you end probably up go do something destructive. You're like, wife's gonna yell at me. I'm gonna get in trouble. Well, go. this was before the wife, but then when the wife came along, it was more fuck. I gotta go. I should probably go be with the wife for a little bit, you know, let her be a little happy or whatever. Um, damn, I am really, really focused on that fucking game, and I'm tempted to call my wife over here, but she can't hear me anyway because I'm in the bar, so wouldn't matter. Um, so it's so it's just going to be strictly PC or console games that you're going to be going back and forth with. Uh, PC to start. Uh, I'm going to do console in maybe three to six months. Um, so I would say PC for now. I don't want to do too much at once, right? Like, Because I just started doing this. Just bought the PC. I'm just learning Twitch now. So I'll just take it one step at a time. Uh, I, I mean... It, it really depends on what time schedule, your, your availability, and just being consistent. Show up at the same time every day. These motherfuckers will show up at the same time every day. 
Strike Force. Yeah. I mean, okay, so other communities I've been in, you could literally go into some other some other people's chats and stuff, and you'll never see you, you'll rarely see somebody in there that you actually spoke to the day before or week before or whatever. Strike Force is like its own goddamn high school. Everybody knows everybody. We all know what, what's happening with everybody. If you've been in there more than like five or six times, they're all like, well, we remember that guy. Let's go ahead. Boom. And then whatever you say, somebody's going to fucking remember or somebody clipped it and you're screwed. Cause... It's a weird gaming community. Oh. It, it, this is a, yeah, this is not the typical gaming community. I've never seen this type of camaraderie with the community and we love you too on pride i love this community this community is fucking amazing these it, i mean um were you there for runs uh run seven's last uh big streaming for uh the fundraiser for kids things yeah the fundraiser yeah yeah i was there that, that was, was funny man when you when, when you just sit there i mean the talk behind the scenes of him telling us like dude i don't think people are gonna do anything i don't think people are gonna help us out with it you know if we get a little bit of money to help out the kids great and i'm like well you got a bunch of us helping already so they're gonna come in but don't ever underestimate this community and when they want to come together they'll fucking come together and scare the crap out of you in a very good way which was helping out gaming for kids and boom six thousand over six thousand dollars he was not even he was expecting like under a thousand at most and that was mainly from like the 50 bucks that every you know all the cc's that would do taco said he would do a little bit more we obviously didn't expect sessi to come in and just just drop some shit. and this community shocked. is uh, seeing that beta ray bill just dropping stacks and you're just like wow okay yes we are helping out these guys are crazy just like wow and it's i don't i've never seen it in any other community gaming community like that usually you have a few yeah. you know big big timers and that's it you know the big timers but the community itself doesn't come together where all the the little guys come together or even people that are rarely unknown they'll be like wow the bad part is is that sometimes we scare the shit out of people new people that come in because they're like oh god wow we really don't be able to drop that much yeah we, we scare people like, off <laughs> but it feels like a sports it. organization <laughs> we're doing, we're doing like, fundraisers the whole community's tight knit like it feels like we're going to like a baseball field or something i i some of the camaraderie, camaraderie here between the community it it, it feels it feels even better than high school thanks sassy thanks for the one bitty you charitable bastard um like seriously everybody knows everybody and once you're here like for a good week two weeks and you kind of just push it out like all right cool i could do it and it's like whoa this is great this is not too bad this is the the community's here for everybody however you got to have a taste for some of the more interesting content creators that are out here because there's a lot oh, of interesting yeah. content creators out here and a lot of different personalities yeah we all have some really messed up shit however once you find your niche man just fucking run with it and just keep on going like me fuck sassy fuck sassy and everything that looks like sassy fuck him That's i like him Sometimes, yeah, fuck, yeah, fuck. Set. Oh, you know what? Better yet, you know what the top's at? Fuck Rello, too. Fuck Rello. Fuck him. I think that's the best advice but. you've given so far today. <laughs> I mean, it's the, it's not, yeah, I, I think that that one, I think the community could back me up with that. Baco will probably just say, I hate this game, but it's okay. We don't hate this game. We loved it. I'm not niche. Well, technically, well, no. Technically, if you're thinking about it, I'm not the only disabled person in, in Strike Force that's streaming. So hey, we're good. There, not a one-man gang anymore. Fuck it. And I'm, great. I'm fully open to the humor too. By the way. There you go. Yes. Yeah, Nothing will that's... offend me. I'll put that as a full disclosure ahead of time. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a really thick skin for some of this shit that comes out, especially from 
I'll give it to Sessi. The moment, the moment I opened it up for for talking and stuff like that with this, these guys ran with it and just fucking shot for the moon and they fucking hit Neptune. They just kept on fucking going and, like I said, the community. I I find it is all good fun. However, like I said, the newbies when they see it, they're like, "Why are you talking about some guy in a wheelchair? You guys are bogus." Yeah. Like, I'm the guy in the chair, dude. That's what they're fucking talking about. And it's fucking funny. They laugh, so laugh too. Yeah, Baka, we know you hate this game. Not everybody does, but we hate this game. Only way but, you can do it is to enjoy it as you go. Mm-hmm. Now, um, if, if it comes down to it, and let's say Strike Force bites the bullet because Sessi decides to waste all his money on the casinos and hookers and shit, and he can't support the game. What would be the top three games that you're going, fuck it, I'm streaming this shit, everybody follow me, we're good to go. What would you be I streaming? Was, I was hoping it would be Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle Earth. Oh my god. I stopped playing that about three weeks ago. I convinced myself not to quit every day. Every day I was like, this might be worth it, just give it time, let it form, like let the game happen. Characters are going to come in. Game modes are going to come in. I couldn't do it anymore. I'll have to find a new mobile game. Like, I just... I started playing Clash of Clans and Boom Beach again just for fun. So maybe that. Because I do have decently high-leveled accounts from when I used to play it a long time ago. And then definitely COD, for sure. And the survival games on, on PC. So, like, seven days to die. I'm going to be playing that night and day for, like, a few weeks. I will not lie to you. I just discovered it last week, and it's it's fun. I mean, just gotta like I said, just gotta be consistent on it. People will follow you. People will get there eventually. It's not gonna take off like crazy, but it definitely will get there. Definitely try to do it. Um, so the only thing I would really suggest, besides the consistency part, is just don't overdo it at first. Unless you unless you sit there and practice with like either YouTube videos, you know, some type of instruction stuff or whatever, you can find most of the shit about streaming and stuff and all the crazy shit that I did here is just by me watching YouTube videos for like a good hour or two and then fucking with it. Hmm. And, then and that's what I've so, been doing. Like every day is just learning. It's like okay, today we're gonna learn how to fix this, and then it's like spend three hours trying to fix the computer to work <laughs> but i finally got all that managed so that's why i'm, I'm happy and upstreaming now finally consistently yeah it, it, once you once you get it up and running once you get everything set and shit it, it it becomes a little bit easier obviously every now and then you'll have some technical difficulties and you'll want to do a full dorky and break a keyboard or punch something <laughs> shit because shit ain't turning on or something's not moving or whatever but you just keep on trucking and keep on going Oof, some, somebody's going to be there. Wow. Um, why would Ciro yell at you for that picture? I fully endorse this picture. I fully endorse this shit. This shit is... Wow. Um, yeah, I don't I don't understand this. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. I like this picture, actually. That's That's kind of messed up. If anybody thinks that picture is offensive, I don't know what to say to y'all. That's not offensive to me. Here, let me push this up here so people, could, some people could see it. Maybe it'll show. Ooh. I think this is hilarious. Wow. I do have a, <laughs> the same question for you. What mobile game would you stream if Marvel Strike Force crash and burn? Ooh. Yeah, you, you caught me there. I had Ooh. no idea what to say next. All right. So I, ever since Mass Effect came out with the Legendary Edition, I've wanted to play that again because I love, I loved Mass Effect. Mass Effect was by far one of the top 10 game series I've ever played. That shit was intricate. It was fucking, it was amazing. First person shooter, go in there, you just fucking wreck things. And then the AI comes back and just fucking destroys you. And you're like, wow, guess I got to rethink my life. That's um, how I feel with Horizon Forbidden West. Yep. 
Now, what's the... I've never heard of it. You haven't heard of Horizon? Mm-hmm. Uh, likely because it's a PlayStation exclusive, but it's just a beautiful, massive world RPG. Ooh. It's like a really good game. Like, I would recommend it to anybody and everybody to play it. And is it... Is it well, open world RPG... See some open world rpgs don't last and i think that's why i don't play the open world ones because sometimes they don't have a story that keeps on going Hmm. or the story becomes shit and you're just like "Eh." um but i mean if it's got a the story part keeps me the story story is amazing like i i am really bad for skipping all storyline i watch this through (laughs) and through three times over like i beat the game played it again, watched the story, beat the game. Like, I didn't skip it. Yeah, I... I I mean, Mass Effect was, was decent, and then it got a little bit better, and then, you know, over time the graphics got better, and then the Legendary Edition came out, then it, you're playing this shit in 4K, and you're like, wow. I could see... I, I could really see all this shit now. This looks great. And then the story was like, wow, you got really invested in the main character. So you're like, wow. But then again, every now and then, the main character can go fuck a blue alien. It's fucking great. Cool. That's fun. It's something you couldn't find find in high school on, on Super Nintendo. But hey, whatever. But besides that, I probably would end up playing. I, I don't play... I, I really don't like the Candy Crush type thing. My wife plays that. So no. Not me. Sorry, One Pride. That's not for me. No, it's not. It's not for me. I, I can't. Um, I did. Like I did see like more and more of these, you know, hero collector games. Just Raid Shadow Legends just doesn't do it for me. It really doesn't. Yeah, and I I think it's a personal preference thing, but I think with that again it was the UI. Like it just. Mm. It's busy, and I, I don't know. I feel like it's a personal thing where I don't give it a chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, I'm i not invested in any of those characters at all. Yeah. At all. Like, I could and care that's, less. That's and why then... we all love Marvel Strike Force so much, and that's why we have so much community, because it's easy to gain emotional investment into it. Yeah, I got no emotional investment in Ronda Rousey and Shape Ray, Ray Shadow Legend. None. There's nothing you can no. do to tell me that could get me beyond it. No, it's not. It's not helping but me. Seven was talking about his emotional investment in her on his stream. <laughs> he did not uh, hold back. Yeah, no. No, I don't know. Like, my. I think. I think like one of the ads popped up and my, my wife was like oh you're gonna play that one too because she's in it and i was like not really she's kind of washboardy to me but whatever i'm not really caring about it. i don't know who any of these fuckers are and i don't care although yeah. i wouldn't mind a boss you know a, a boss type mode in this game where we all got to go up against a big huge boss not just what strike force considers a boss node that would be great Something where the entire alliance got to do it, not just whoever's in that lane, and hopefully they pick it up and knock it out. No, we should all have to attack it. We should all have to strategize with it, and all of us should get our ass kicked the first couple of times, especially when we yeah. move up another difficulty. Get rid of real time arena, stick the boss mode there, and put the pass in the boss mode. That would, I would be okay with that. Because I've been saying the same thing. I would love to have, like, an op massive health boss where you gotta like strategize with what tunes that you want to do mm. It'd be so much fun what would be your characters for a big boss oh you put me on the spot because no matter what i say it's gonna be the wrong thing no this, um, this is an open question and i'll back up i'll back up your answers and tell the community to fuck off well obviously apoc are we talking like yeah, I feel like it's just a very generic answer because we go Apoc, Scroll, Red Hulk. At this point, Black Hat, I would assume. It's untested for me, but I would assume. Um, and then, I hope I'm not missing anybody. Either Dorm or MLF at that point. 
I don't have the game loaded, so I feel like I might miss somebody here, but... Oh, but Vol. Her big boss, that sustain might be huge. Mm. Take away Dorm, put in Vol. I mean, the, the, the characters we have now are definitely big enough to do some things, but they, but we all know that with Dark Dimension, they can just out, like, fucking just skew the stats so high where you're just like, holy crap, this is going to be um, a little bit interesting. Like, that one million Captain Marvel... Yeah, one million, one million TCP Captain Marvel and DD6 to start. She was a pain in the ass, but that's that's what it will probably come to. But that would probably be, we would probably end up seeing like a thirty million TCP boss with humongous health, humongous you know abilities. And I think the boss, I, I think if we do get a boss mode, something like that, where it has to be with a boss, a world boss, they. They should definitely be NPCs that shouldn't be brought out for a while, and they should have abilities that go ridiculous, like just fucking ridiculous. They they should be random things that happen that we don't that we can't that we have to bring. Not that we can anticipate, but it might mess up the field. Temporary so, scourges like battlefield yeah, well, effects that come and go. Kind of, well, yeah, kind of come and go, or kind of like uh, Nico's abilities, where one of one of three random things is going to happen when the ability goes off. Something gotcha. like that, where wow, okay, cool. This no, th this go round, bam. You know, his ability did this and wiped out the team, or he healed up his side, or changed something on it to where you know for sure you can't go in there and go, oh, he's going to keep doing the same thing over and over. We know how to beat it now which yeah. usually becomes how most raids become. You go, oh, fuck, well, I can go get through it. Now it's going to be bam. But I would like it where it's more random and unique to where people go, oh, fuck, I got to keep playing this to beat it. Otherwise, because once, once somebody starts beating something in the game and it stays that way for a bit, it becomes stale. Like, yeah, you definitely need variety. Like, we learned that yeah. it gets stale from Crucible. You don't need to see yeah, any it, more than that. Uh, no. It, to be honest, Juice, I've never played Genshin Impact. Have you played Genshin Impact? I have not. Uh, Surprisingly, no. It's always been RPGs, hack and slash RPGs, and sports games, basically, and hero collectors and tower defense games. Hmm. No, not that. I literally just said. Well, I thought Droid was like for a game. I just want to know the name of the game that's on that computer. No. <laughs> Genshin is too ooh, ooh, shit. Uh, yeah, I've never, I've never played it. So, um, that's no, I don't think the game has been. I don't think, I don't think the game has been stale. The 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 scourge, scourge on. Scourge has been an actual new thing. I did like the Scourges when they came out. That was pretty good because it was like, wow, I can increase the difficulty on my own time. I don't have to wait for 23 other guys. I thought the Nova event was a blast. The Nova Scourge was... I like it because I was trying to go for difficulty 9, but it was kicking my ass. I find it unique, and I find it fun enough that you can actually grind and challenge yourself and not feel like you're just a slave to the game. Like, you're actually playing and trying to make things happen and to make it work for you. Yeah, well, I, I, I like it because it's it's basically challenging me. I don't like the fact that they're going to do something different with the leaderboards, but it's more like, hey, with the leaderboard for Scourge, it's more like, hey, do your best. If not, upgrade your characters and try to do better. But, um, but which what which scourge was your least favorite? Oh boy, probably Darkhold. I would assume just because Web Warriors. Nobody really enjoyed doing Web Warriors, and I didn't do Dark Hunters. 
Um, Red Hulk was the one I was happiest about. Just because getting Red Hulk. He, I, he is my favorite horseman character. Um, who is... Was Archangel... What one was that? I know it was Minions Node 1, but what was 5 and 10? Archangel, I think... Oh god, I completely forgot. It's been a while since we've had Archangel around. Yeah, gee, what was that? Anyways, it's... Yeah, I don't... I definitely think it was the MLF one that was um, my least favorite. And let me know if you can hear my dogs, because they're playing. They just started playing. Oh, they're fine. Uh, oh, BA and Hero Asgard. Yeah, that's right. Oh, they, they weren't bad. I, I liked that one, because I, unfortunately now, went hard on Bionic Avengers. So, like, I built them up quick as soon as I could, and I had them ready, and I went hard on that Scourge. Oh. Yeah, see, I... Well, I enjoyed... I enjoyed that once I got some of the Hero Asgard members built up a little bit, and I was like, I'm going to stop the moment I could get through it. That's it. As long as Thor... My, Thor was already big regardless, but... Every, every the other hero I was got, I just left them alone. There was no reason for it. I never really built mine. Mine are at like I think seven hundred thousand power. Nothing, nothing very big. So yeah, hero hero Asgard were. Eh. Ba was good for a little bit. They kind of went right out of fashion, really fast with uh. Wait, what warriors? They were. Good for a good minute, and then poof, gone. Just gone. Yeah, they were never amazing, but like they weren't bad. Nobody was complaining, and then they were just suddenly completely useless in the game. I use them for countering, uh, what's it called, Mister Sinister. Why am I? I'm having a huge brain fart here. Emirators. I use it to clear Emirators in war, and that's it. I I liked Emirators for a little bit. And then I did it. And I was like, eh, well, they were getting, they were getting, they, they literally were getting power crept, so I just didn't care anymore. I was just like, yeah. yeah, I'm done with this. I can't. I didn't build mine. I just, that's what I use Bionic Avengers against and more. That's their only use now. Damn. My Emma is like 120,000 power, so every time I use her in a speed advantage, she's just. She's nothing. She's dead every time. Uh, you gotta build her at least 200, and then she might be able to uh, to survive a little bit. A little bit. Had her and favorited then... for so long, and I just always put her off. Like, I was like, okay, I'll get to her next, and then a new character comes out. Like, <laughs> so, we'll All see right, maybe one day. One of the any of the characters that are out now that hasn't been reworked, which one of them would you rework and what would you try to give them? Jesus, you're gonna have to give me a second here. Um, for reworks, Doc Ock. 100% Doc Ock. Mm. Kind of similar to Doom in the sense of like, he's just kind of like an alpha character. He's loved by everyone. Um, you need a tech raid team, clearly. What I would give to him is exactly what he has now, but more of it. Like right now, he's a like a team buffer, slight healing, an AOE attack. So he's got some good fundamentals. And I would just improve on it, as well as obviously improving on stats. But it just improve on his passive, like allow it for more buffs, more stat increases, maybe a stun on the ultimate. Like, you know what I mean? Okay, so, well, Doc Ock didn't really get a rework. More kind of got oh. like a... Did I misunderstand I mean, your question? I, I might have. No, maybe, maybe I should say it's... 
So Doc Ock will get reworked. We already know that Sinister Six is going to get used for another Scourge. You got it right. It's just like which character you would like to see get reworked to actually be brought to the meta because Doc Ock is a decently good character-ish, but I mean, is he going to be... Can I speak off Yeah, I don't think he's going to be the next Scourge. Yeah, sure, why not? Shit. I just recently, two weeks ago, pulled seven red on Phoenix. I'm now using <laughs> Phoenix in room, what is it, room four or five? I think it's five in Crucible. Oh, Phoenix. Oh, with Unlimited? Phoenix. Yeah, I'm using uh, oh. Phoenix and Jubilee uh, mm. with Dazzler, Rogue, and Gambit. Uh, that's, hey, if it, if it helps you to win, go ahead it's not a bad bad combo uh phoenix does help beast would probably be better especially if they're if, especially if they're stupid enough to bring minions it's just they're stupid enough to be minions My beast yeah is lower um i know uh, it's not gonna like win but it's more of an efficiency pull like i've got a bigger defense mm. for where i'm at in the rankings so i just try and mm. drain offenses it works for me honestly it does work like i Twice, this Cosmic Crucible, they only got 40,000 <laughs> points on me. And then in the championship round, like when to go 3-0, and they got 49,000. So they finally cleared me. Hmm. Okay. Hey, man, as long as you get the win, fuck it. Doesn't matter. Yeah, you yeah now, it's been working for me. Are you still following along with the, with the, the bug rooms? You're still happy with those for the moment? Kind of using it to your advantage? With um, one or four, five, honestly, and six. I haven't. I've decided to, and this is just a personal thing, keep some game integrity and leave the rooms as I intended them, if you know what I mean. If someone else wants to take advantage, that's fine. I'll take the loss if I have to, whatever. But I just, I want to keep it as is and try and play fair in a sense. Mm. I mean, Scopely doesn't Did play fair. Why the fuck are you trying to play fair? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It didn't work out for me. It made me go two and one and not three and zero. Oh, so, oh, I I, I literally that. thought I was gonna lose. I really thought I was gonna lose when when messing up the the nowhere fight. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, this is over with. So what? No big deal. We'll just keep moving on. But wow, I I literally changed room one to Infinity Watch like last minute yesterday. I just said, all right, fuck it. I'll throw Infinity Watch in one, see what happens. Cause obviously Gamma's gonna get destroyed in one. They just get yeah. annihilated by MOE. So fuck it, let's see what happens. And it's it happens every now and then where you see a punch up and you go, what the fuck did you do? Like, the fuck, did, like, how do you, People how do you mess this up? up? Into, uh... Death Seed into Bifrost, but then you could punch down 600k Death Seed into Bifrost and lose. Yeah, and it's like, why? Why? Yeah, I do the same thing, Jumpy. I just like, why? How is this happening? Like, do you not watch anybody playing this game? I guess not, because it's just like, wow. Okay, so the, the amount, I, compared to last season, loving this i'm loving it because there's there's somewhat a variety we are kind of getting stuck behind bifrost in two unless you just don't feel like using it and then you're like fuck it whatever um are you using bifrost in two or are you using rebirth or another raid team or something yeah i'm using bifrost i've got a um I'll tell you the exact power here one million eighty three thousand so they're getting up there oh. um for okay. diamond not bad i got pushed down to diamond one and then my goal for the end of the season is to get to masters one that's the bottom masters right like the masters bottom one masters yeah yeah ma there's masters one yeah okay yeah so that's that's where my end goal is for the end of the season i was really close last season yeah i think i my ent my whole thing is just to keep on pushing get back into masters try to find try to find juicy i 
I've already passed Mr. Wolf. I would really like to go ahead and match up with Mr. Wolf because he's always in chat going, let's match up. And it's like, we don't have control of it, but I'd like to. So we could have a good one. Uh, it's it's good to stream it back and forth. Me and Zoboy did it uh, last week and that was fun as shit. That was good because you could we're, we're actually doing it side by side. So it's like, ooh, ooh, yeah. this, is, this is anxious. I hope I win, I hope I win, but this, I think so I, I, I like it this round. Yeah, it, it's nice to have a a real time arena right there in front of you. Yeah. But in, this round is a blast, honestly. Like I'm having so much fun with it, and I yeah, the bugs suck. They do suck, but I'm still having so much fun. Only thing I'm struggling with right now is room one. Room one, I had a a dark hold today. Now it's in nothing was working i even dark hold emma it just to see on my final attempt just to get the extra speed didn't work oh so, well yeah i mean yeah I M moe usually destroys anything in there we've seen moe go in there a small moe versus a dark hold and just annihilate half the dark hold and they're just like oh well that happened and and it's it's sad because it's kind of like well that's all you could really use around there for most of them is is you want to try to go for a nice kang bang but whatever no biggie i think but... i i needed them for i needed moe for i think it was a gamma dorm um because for some reason i slotted new warriors against gamma dorm and they lost twice i was shocked I, it was only a 200,000 punch up 1.1 new warriors into 1.3 gamma dorm I got shit on twice. Like I'm not stupid. I usually play the matches right, and I just I got I got shit on. Well, dorm dorm messes up the turn meter, and you you you'd have to time that. You'd have to time the Gwen pull ult so that way a few of them die and they don't revive, which is great. Yeah, and but... I I accidentally over pushed dorm, and then I couldn't kill him. Was the issue? I oh. made yeah. I should have saved it. Not smart. We learned. <laughs> Yeah, I, I literally stay away from Red Hulk with Gamma. I just, I attack everybody else but Red Hulk and usually put the trauma on Green Hulk and just let, let She-Hulk get just destroyed eventually. She'll eventually yeah. die, but the Gamma part, the, the Dorm part in there probably messes it up, so. It wasn't even the revives. Yeah. It was just him. He, he made oh, my life oh. hell. I, I played it wrong. So that's why I didn't have MOE. <laughs> user error yeah we we all make it i did it today and yet i still won it was great but every night but that when you when you see the loss happening to you and you're like no a lot of a lot of people are sleeping on nowhere i'm not saying they're an amazing team but my 1.2 nowhere kestrel team has got me two wins so far well, Kestrel's faster than Nova, so she's gonna attack, and then the rest, you got nowhere coming in, and if you got a big enough Nova, he'll delete some fuckers too. Me, and my when, whole thing is, you gotta outspeed the shit out of him. Yeah, when cosmic heroes are attacked, you apply defense down. Who's taking mm -hmm. advantage of the defense down? Kestrel. And she's cosmic heroes. Oh, so you so got them at four. The too. No, wait, you got I, them at three. Uh, yeah, three. three. Yeah, three, I, three. Sent you, I sent one. you yeah, a three. picture. Yeah. Yeah was in three yeah so she's always pinging at all times and she's cosmic hero so she gets the buff i had to get rid of cosmo no big deal i'm wrong with that screw down well <laughs> cosmo is useless I, we love the dog but yeah cosmo is really no help there which is probably you could sub them out and just call it a day but just having nowhere in there i mean you could, if they're big enough, they could they could hold off some people, especially at the lower leagues. But when you get to the bigger ones, it's just like no, no. Yeah. Yeah. I trust you on that. I only have them in there because they're 200k bigger than my IW, so I put IW in room one. Ooh. Yeah, and I'm still surprised that Infinity Watch is still fucking good. They're still holding it's it, crazy. and it's like wow. Wow, these guys are still holding up, but 
I don't know, man. Gamora, so, man, okay. taking out my APOC, Icarus, Cersei, I screamed. I was like, what the hell is happening? Yeah, Gamora in room one is a beast. A freaking beast. I, I don't know why... I, I don't know why they didn't test this stuff. I was hoping that they would. And we'd be like, all right, we're going to go into this like we did Ultimate 32. It's going to be great. No bugs. Everybody's going to be happy. And then I I was out. I was out at the mall or whatever with the girls. And next thing you know, I'm looking at it. And you just see room six busted, room four busted, room five. I'm like, wow. Glad I didn't start this right away. That would have been bad. Oof. I was, I was sitting in Mobile Gamers stream and it was just like at like 603. It was like room one is busted. 605. Room like it was just so blatantly obvious. Like, and then did you see There's... um I think it was also Mobile Gamer, he shared the document where the job of the game director, his role is oh, to yeah. ensure quality <laughs> assurance. And it's like, okay, so they're not doing that currently. They have nobody for that role, and nobody's filling in for it in the time being. Uh, why would we... Why would we want that in this game? We don't want our game... We, we, we don't want Marvel Strike Force to work, right, community? Why do we need Strike Force to actually do what it's supposed to do? It, Sad it, news it shouldn't be like make that. make money anyways. Uh, that's, yes. That's... that's the reason why yes. it happens, unfortunately. I I don't I don't like it, but it's very true that that happens, and it. I mean, it's not a bad. It's not a. It's not a total bad thing, because if they weren't, if these guys weren't here to do this for the game, we wouldn't be here playing it. So exactly, like at the end be, of the day, yeah, it is a gone. business, right? Like you gotta mm -hmm. make people work, so. Someone's gonna spend money. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I try. I try not to, but every now and then, maybe. But for some of the stuff, I think it's it's a little overpriced. It's like, where can I go to the flea market to get the cheap shit? That's where I want. I want some of the cheap shit in this game, but it's not coming. So you really okay. don't get your values worth here. But lately, I find lately it's been a little bit better. Offers have been a little bit more valuable. I don't know if that's every just now and then they come up every now and then they come up with with a few of them uh i think the last two amazing offers that i seen were the one for the the gold promos over 100 days and then the i think it was the gold and stuff for 100 days I'm so those stupid two I didn't buy for the 20 promo. bucks i bought both i said fuck it i'm just gonna do it get it over with and i'll be i'll be happy with it and i think one of them just ended or whatever and i was like oh wow holy shit i guess i figured i was gonna be playing this game for another hundred goddamn days god damn i was right okay cool and i got the one it with was the like a, the gear yeah the gold in the gear was good but now i have an abundance of gear that's not going to be open for ever so yeah just gonna be sitting there but i'm fine with that yeah, i got the gold the gold help out but i mean some of the offers they got are ridiculous some of the offers are i don't know what they were thinking i know they have to make money on this but for the i mean we don't have to dino mac anymore so He's not throwing up like 600k. We got a, a we got every now and then we'll have a few we, we'll have a crack and pop out of nowhere and be like ooh, cool. But I think that I think the game would probably help if they had more microtransactions. Five dollar, ten dollar stuff that was actually somewhat valuable. People would be 100%. like, well, you know what? I could fucking do five or ten bucks every now and then, not a hundred or a hundred fifty or. Shit, I'm so man. guilty for it. I'm so bad for those little micro transactions. Three ninety nine, six ninety nine. I'm like in Canada, so my pricing's a bit more. But um, hundred percent. If they did more micro transactions with slightly up value, one hundred percent, they're selling more. Oh, well, if it's a, if it's the micro transaction, it's it's got something that's worth it. 
Gold and training mats, I would definitely probably get. I Even if they threw in a power core with training mats, one. Oh, the that was 399 that was... Canadian. Oh, I would that, always that, get that, that one because be it's nice. so small. And I was like, I want the power cores. I think it was like 250 or something. And like training mats mm -hmm. is a bonus. I mean, yeah, the bonuses are great. The little ones where you're going like, wow, this would cost just for one of them. But if I could get two, yeah, I think I'll keep this up. I think I'll keep doing that. Uh, I'm not spending five. Well, yeah, Windstorm, we know you're not spending any more, but at the, I mean, if the game was like not buggy, 99% of the time shit was going right, you'd probably be like, well, maybe I could. Maybe I could do it. Um, I don't promote spending, but my logic behind it is I spend so much time on this game. Like my everyday life has this game in it. What's a couple bucks here and there is my theory. It's like, I might as well improve my quality of the game because I play it every damn day. Mm. I don't like I mean, promote I... the spending. Yeah, I don't want to promote, but it, I, if you got money and you want to spend it, spend it. You spend your money however you want. It's your money, whatever. I, however, will say, hey, this might be a little bit worth it. If not, whatever. But every now and then when there's a $5 one or a $10 one that has a bunch of shit in there, I'm going to say jump on it. Please jump on it because this could help you out. It could it, it could push you forward a little bit. Basically, just don't get fucking Starbucks for like two days. You'll be fucking fine. <laughs> That's it. Just go to the dollar store, grab some fucking dollar fucking jerkies and shit. Eat that. You'll be fine. But You just got to not feed the kids for a day. MSF, definitely more important than the kids for sure. Yeah. For sure. Fuck the kids. Yeah. Fuck the kids. Okay, so I found the game, the tower defense game that I used to play. And it's called since Revenge went of the through, Titans. Okay, since you went through all the trouble, I will try it out. Here. Well, if you can find I know where to download it. I think I still got it or whatever on my older PC. But here, this is what it looks like. And the funny thing is I checked the... I, I went to the high scores part of the game, part of the thing. And... Oh crap, they can't see it from that side. Let me move it. Let me move it. Move over. I'm checking oh. it out right now as you're looking for it. It's up on the screen. Look who's still number one on. Wow, I'm still up there. Holy shit. No way. I haven't played this game in years. I have not played this game in years. If you guys don't know this game, it is called Revenge of the Titans. You can get it on PC or whatever. I haven't gotten, I haven't played this game in a long time, but my name is still up there as number one. Wow, that is some shit. That's a flex. I will say yes, it's a fucking flex. I will flex <laughs> the fuck out of it because my name is still there. Um, but the game, the, I mean, it's a tower, it's a typical tower defense game, but it's for the, just like regular tower defense games, you know, they get harder, which eat each incoming level. However, Eventually, they overrun your ass. Eventually, they fuck you up. But it is a very, very interesting game. And I enjoyed the hell out of it because it was just... You just kept trying to... You wanted to kill these... You just wanted to kill them. That's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to kill these guys. And it looked... It looks like it belongs on... Like, you know, like old school Super Nintendo or, or, or even Nintendo. But then you start getting the gameplay and you're like, wow, I'm going to get annihilated right now <laughs> by these little stupid looking aliens that are just that that are just, I don't know. It was a fun, it was a fun tower defense game and it's you can't play it on mobile, but you can play it on your PC. So our defense games is basically where theory crafting is invented. Yeah, okay. you, you can really got to think to last as long as possible. <laughs> So it's addictive. The upgrading part is addictive. Like, okay, what can I do now? What can I upgrade? What can I put here that's gonna help me? Yep. Yep. And the 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 funny part is that the AI usually will set. It'll follow sixty percent of the time the same type of route, 
and then it'll just throw something in there that'll just fuck it up and you'll be like, I swear to God, I was supposed to put something there to block that side and I completely fucking forgot and got destroyed. And that's kind of what I what I like about it. I want that randomness where it gets me to think. And the bad part is they only made so many levels and you're like, fuck. That's the disappointing but, part about video games is yeah. they don't last forever. They don't. I wish I wish they would have made more levels for it. Like I said, you can play certain parts in it where they have a sandbox mode where you keep going and going and going and going, but the 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 enemies get harder and harder every the longer you played. And mm. from the high scores, it looked like I played for six hours. So I survived for six fucking hours. <laughs> I obviously Jesus had Christ. nothing to fucking do that I'm stuck there on the on the high score for, for that particular mode for six fucking hours. I would assume that yeah. most people in this chat have been there. Okay, th there you go. Okay, so has there been any game that you've played and you were on like the leaderboard for a cer either a certain score or a certain length of time? I'll give mine really quick while chat put stuff in there. Um, when Modern Warfare 3 came out, I got stepped on by a hockey skate, so I couldn't walk. I had a really bad injury, couldn't walk. Um, I was ranked third in the world and in infected. That was like my big oh. hurrah moment, was third in the world. Oh. And those are big servers, so I was like, I was happy. Wow, holy shit. Um, yeah, fuck my six hours. That ain't shit. That was, that ain't that nothing, was that ain't nothing. Nah. Not having anything to do but sit nah, there and play I'm, video games. <laughs> I mean, can't go nowhere. All you can do is hop room. to the bathroom. Might as well just say, fuck it. I'm going to play something here. Keep my mind off the fact that I'm in pain. Let me go ahead and do that. Oh, Bendy. Thank you for the raid, you sexy beast, you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are at, Welcome in, people. We are just here with Is Haji Gaming. He is a new streamer, and he's been up on YouTube for a good hot minute. So if you guys got any questions for him, please put it in chat. We will definitely try to ask him for it. Um, like I said, I can I can ask it. I can't guarantee he'll answer, but I can ask it for sure. He can definitely answer for sure. Um, so if, if you got stuck oh, with yeah. another game right now, if it wasn't Marvel Strike Force, let's say, boom, you want to play it all day, all night, and you could just sit there and just, no sleep involved either, boom, do it. Which game would it be? Would it be the new one you were, you were talking about seven days of that or something, to, something yeah. different? Yeah, yeah, because there's so, so much to do. Like, it's the amount of time that this game takes and the amount of satisfaction it brings you. Like, if there's a game that you're gonna play for hours, that's it. Like it's like we said earlier, this is the type of game where if you only have 20 minutes, there's no point in playing it. Hmm. You want to sit down and spend some time. And it's almost like Minecraft in a sense. Like you just get lost in it. Okay. Um, I knew they were going to... I, I knew they were going to fuck around. Somebody was going to fuck around and ask this shit. So... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's up to you if you... I'll, I'll ask Gnomes. Oh. Gnomes is actually quite nice. Ass or boobs. That's up to you if you want to answer it. Um, obviously, Sledge is for the, for the... I don't know if he's for ass or boobs, but I'm for both. Um, but it's up to you if you want to answer that. I, I'll answer it, and then I'm going to ask a question back. Go ahead. So my answer is ass. But if, if, if they're really bad, like just the worst of the worst what one's worse ass or boobs it's the worst of the worst you've ever seen oh. i hi every day it's it's an addiction i go through withdrawals if i don't do it i gotta do it every single day breakfast lunch and dinner i i am i i don't know i don't know profit i don't know about that my i am an i am an ass guy my wife got a nice ass and it's great i it's it's my height so it works out great for me <laughs> um yeah it's it's i yeah i don't know yeah there's some there's some nasty pancake titties out there that you really don't want to see so 
Yeah, if it's but think about the good. worst asses you've seen too. Like oh, worst. I've seen. Oh, oh, come on, man. We've seen. <laughs> we, we, we've seen girls come by, and you're just like, wow. What? Where the, f bitch? What happened? Why? Why is it like that? Or then when they when they bend over and it's a perfect ninety degree angle, there's no curvature to it, and you're like, do you even eat meat? You eat something with protein to give you a little bit of a bubble. We want a bubble. It's only natural want smack. for us to feel this way. Gotta yeah, have I the support feel, for the baby. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to feel my girl's ass. I want to feel my girl's ass. That too. That too. She she already knows that's one of the reasons why I married her. Fuck that. She already knows that shit. I was I wasn't gonna be I wasn't gonna be untruthful with it. It's your ass, honey. Oh, Keep God. walking around with it. I'm dating you. Do what Prophet says. Uh, I like when... Uh... Visualize it. Yeah, I, I, I don't want to visualize it. That's why. That's nothing you want to... Vi why? 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 What have fucked up things have you been in, Prophet, that you gotta vision... That you gotta specify that? I... When did this turn to an Amaranth stream? Um... You know, when... Yeah, it's bendy. Bendy. Yeah. Bendy. Yeah. Bendable straws. Bad you influence. just, you know, his, 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 he, he probably left stream, you know, wanting more for like Strike Force because he has to go deliver all his packages and then now we're fucked because now we got that. But, you know, Juice was going to ask this anyway and there he is. He's going to ask him anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah. Well, so our, it, it's, oh my god, damn. Where's the link? All right, let's put it. Let's put it in there. Hold on, let me get it. I love that all the CCs can just sit here and roast each other. So um, it makes it more certain, entertaining. Certain, too. certain ones, certain ones. All right, weapon. I'll ask, and you're under no obligation to answer. We have to ask you the taco question. Do you eat ass? You do not have to answer this. That's all up to you. I'm not going to force you to. You can just keep on moving, and we keep on going. It's, it's up to you, it's, man. It's boring not to answer. Like I um, said, it's up to you. <laughs> it's up to you. Consistently, no. Have I? What yes. the fuck? What the fuck, gnomes? What the fuck? Why? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. My is there another way other than extra chocolate that I don't? Uh, know? Yeah, uh, if if you're if if there's chocolate involved, I think it. Yeah, if yeah, if it's a mud pie, it's time to it's time to. It, I typically yeah. invoke oh, a shower God. rule. This is a personal thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if everyone's on the same page. Oh as God! Me or whatever. I'll let Damn. it fly. I go for a shower rule. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, showering beforehand is great, but sometimes you know. If there's no, if that, if that's not involved, doesn't really matter. Knock it out, then go shower. But if that's involved, you might have to. Sh it, it'd be preferred you shower, you clean, you do everything. Maybe even scrub with a toothbrush just to be safe. Um, that's what I mean. Only when that's involved. Yeah, juice. What the fuck? Are you trying to find out if he if he go what? When hiding a body, would you cut it up first or hide it whole? Um, I wouldn't. Well, actually, I would likely cut it up first, but then you're going to have to buy a plastic bin and some hydrochloric acid. So, yes, you would cut it up, but you wouldn't bury it cut up. It would be dissolved. And it has to be a pr it has to be the properly rated bin. Can't just I be a fucking regular ass it, bin. There's a, there's a like polyurethane yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, no one in the chat's gonna be smart enough and say I'm stupid. Yeah, so, someone will figure it out. Toothbrush up there and get it squeaky. If that's what you guys do, make sure make sure it's not the same toothbrush you use when no, you brush your teeth. The hydrochloric acid would burn through it. it yeah, has to be a special you, type of plastic. There's a special plastic that the the hydrochloric acid won't eat through. It'll it's just stay in there. Enough to know the name. Yeah. Uh, it was from Breaking Bad Juice. Breaking Bad let us in on a few few of the dynamics that <laughs> that could help with it but uh basically you literally would have to carry that bin out to somewhere dirt or sand and then throw it out so that way it just goes through there 
Otherwise, you try to dump that shit in the garbage, you're fucked. Best oh. way to get the chat rumbling. Favorite show, Game of Thrones. I was Ooh, fine with the so ending. Oh, oh, oh. My wife would, my wife would slap oh. the shit at you. Breaking Bad was pretty goddamn good. Um, top three. Top three ooh. for me. I love Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad was pretty good. Uh, Breaking Bad is my favorite I've... show moment of all times when he says, I am the danger. Yeah. That was good. Um, say My Name. Say My Name was good in that part, too. Where he had them say his yep. name. Yeah, and uh, he's like, I'm the one who knocks. Intense. Yep. Like, he's just crazy. Uh, I think it was the first. Oh, the first season where he showed Tuco the. This isn't. <laughs> this isn't meth. Boom. <laughs> Woke that motherfucker up. I love Tuco. Wow. I love that you had what him the in the fuck? stream earlier. In the yeah, that was. Well, they gave. They showed me it, and I was like, dude, this is like a minute and a half video. I can't play the whole fucking thing. This is a minute and a half. This is long. Let me cut it up to make it at least like. 20 30 seconds at least at the at the at the most you know because if i play all that it's gonna it's just gonna be forever and no but i'm gonna have to give profit the link to my only fans instead of YouTube oh and you... youtube and twitch all right profit yeah profit <laughs> you're gonna have to hit that only fans man you're gonna have to hit that only fans and call it a day man but here ju just for you just 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 because i'm gonna play this one just for y'all there you go. Oh, it's not even gonna play. Son of a bitch. Um, is it gonna play on that one? Do we have to play it on this one? I think I have to play it here. I would answer Westine's question if I could read it. Uh, would you, yeah, if you want to, man. It's your question. No, it's, I think my my settings are messed up. There's a profanity filter on, even though I. Oh. Uh, oh, would you rather have a? Oh my God. Thank, thanks for the go. biddies, Bendy. Thanks for the biddies. The the they're not on. But would you rather have a sex with a guy with a vagina or a girl with a what? What? Why? Or a, or a girl with a dick? With a cock? Yeah. As much as I like vagina, I feel like still a girl with a. Like, there's no good answer. If yeah. I feel like if it's, it's a dude it's... with a vagina, that's awkward as shit. Coming from a straight male, it's fucking awkward. Still. I mean, it's a girl, but it's still... It's not a yeah, good answer, know. but I'm still going girl. Yeah, with you're... Yeah. Swallow my pride, no pun intended. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep the pride. Yeah. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We'll, we'll, that, that one took a, a turn, and we didn't need it to turn. <laughs> Self... Oh, wow. Dan, there you go. All right. There you go, weapon. Self-love is the best answer. There you go. Self-love is definitely the best answer. I, I will give you that one. I'll give you that one. Jesus Christ, man. Talking to, wow. Yeah, if... Uh, That's the political answer. I give, can't give political answers here. Yeah, there's there's too much for that. There's there's no political, political part here. We keep that shit out of here because why? Because there's... Because there's no... There, we don't need it. We definitely don't need it. We don't need it right now. Um, but if I had to play, uh, what is it? Can they say Tuco or whatever? Since I don't normally do most of those, I could at least give one. Boom. man that that Tuco would take thanos i mean tuco would knock the shit out of him that'd be fucking crazy he don't give a fuck but i think it's more somebody took the freaking time to do that somebody sat there and spliced that shit all up and i know how long i, I know how much time it takes to to fuck with certain things and certain videos that i can create but that looks like it'll be a pain in the ass because they are the like hammer. really specific yeah, the hammer part hammer. where he's got it right there. Great. And then he's got the, the the eyes lighting up at the same time and just knocking the shit out of Thanos. Like, god damn, that's fucking crazy. That is nuts. High quality oh, work. God. It takes so much time. 
yep it yep um but does anybody got any other questions for that newer streamer over here that we got is haji gaming he'll be streaming a lot more and he does and please check him out on youtube uh links will be around in a little bit but any other questions you guys want to ask him that we didn't already ask we already asked it bro you should have been here for it back back that shit up and find out because <laughs> that's what it is that's what it's about gonna have to go gonna have to go backwards bro always 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 coming in late always always coming in a little late sessie and a little short the answer changes whether it's a girl with a penis or a guy with a vagina the answer changes. yeah that that was that was just whoa that was just whoa <laughs> i shouldn't have answered that one it doesn't fucking matter. Nobody's <laughs> gonna remember that one anyway. They'll only remember the eat ass one. That's all they're gonna remember. Cause they're gonna of be course. like, oh, cause someone, someone's gonna be like, oh, there he is, Taco. Ask him again. <laughs> well, we know it. you I'm won't. I'm all for it. <laughs> now, okay. Is there is, is there any other Marvel games that you've played? Doesn't it, matter what what on console PC. I honestly don't believe so. I know I played Spider Man on my Super Nintendo like years and years ago. Um, I don't think I've played Marvel Snap. I played Marvel Snap a decent amount. I just kind of got bored of it. Ugh. Yeah, I don't. Uh, Marvel I don't Midnight know something Sun, about it I was. was... Hopeful. I was very hopeful for Marvel Midnight Suns, and then it just. Stop. It was too repetitive and it didn't have too much to it. So it was yeah. like, oh, guess this is going in the wrong direction. So not going to keep playing this. But it was yeah. it was a nice try by them. It was a nice try. Could have been a lot worse, but it was a nice try. Definitely um, waiting. Waiting for something new to come out. Yeah, what, what, I mean... I mean, the Spider-Man games on, on PlayStation have been pretty decent. The story's been pretty decent. I don't I don't mind them. I just don't play them. I just... I haven't played I it. The play, only thing yeah, that... I don't know why. Yeah, I don't... I think the, on, the, the, the last two games that we've played on PS4, at least all of us together, or even me, has been Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. That's when yeah. we jump on PS4, and we're just like, fuck it, let's go at it, blah, 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 blah. And then you're like, eh, okay, I'm good. After a few, after a few times of me kicking my wife's ass and then my wife kicks my ass, it's like, all right, we're good, we're good. I think we'll be Games okay. Games like that, I like to whip out the uh, GameCube and play Super Smash Bros. That one's classic. Mm. Did you play that or no? Yeah, I like I, I like Super Smash Bros. I, I like the first one. When it started getting more intricate, I was just like, fuck. I don't. Yeah, I mean, you it. just had that. Yeah, I like the first couple of them because they were like so simple. And the characters were cool and you're just like wow this is great but i think if they would have added some other characters along the way but then again they only got so many to work with and whoever they got licensed to so yeah i bought it for 3ds but... and i couldn't do the newer version i played it once sold it couldn't do it <laughs> old version is the only way to go I, I I'm still a fan of like Super Mario Kart, um, the yeah. old school like Super Nintendo, either either NBA Jam or like the Ken Griffey baseball games because they were so fucking hard because you had to time that shit perfectly. Otherwise, you weren't getting nothing. That AI would kick your that. ass. Oh my god! And on my Sega Genesis, Jesus. I had like a winter sports game. It was a whole bunch of different Olympic winter sports and hardest game I've ever played. Holy shit. Classic Metal Gear and Snake. I mean, Snake is really, really old, but you could, you could, I got, I, I, I got the chance to play Snake on my first cell phone and that was, fuck. Damn, 25 years ago. Holy shit. Son of a bitch, I'm old as fuck. Damn. It's fucked up. Yes! Punch Out was awesome too. Punch Out with Mike Mike Tyson Punch Out was great. Cause that AI would fuck you up. <laughs> that AI would kick your ass. Uh Metal Gear 
Metal Gear Solid. I think I played it for a little bit, but I don't know. Have you ever played Metal Gear Solid? No, no. Uh, yeah, it was eh. Uh, I... Did you see the new trailer for the next Sonic game that's coming out? No, I didn't even know there was a new oh. one coming out. Does it oh. look good? Yeah, it, it goes from 2D to 3D, and it was looking fucking tight. Oh my god, I think it, I, it's... I don't know when it comes out. When it, Does anybody remember the date when it comes out? What's up, Zoe boy? What's up, Big Boobs? What's happening, man? Uh, I can't remember when the new one's coming out. It's new games coming out. I we I, I saw the trailer and I was like, oh shit, this looks pretty Sonic fucking Superstars? good. I no, I think no. It's it's supposed to come out this year, either two th either August, September, or something. Is it is it Superstars? The fall twenty twenty three, but I don't see a date. Yeah, it's Sonic Superstars. Yeah, it's Superstars. Yeah, it's Superstars. Yeah, then it goes, yeah, it's, it switched, the, the trailer for it went from like 2D and then it flipped to 3D and you're like, holy shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. This they looks give you the crazy. Midway through. Yeah, they give you, they give you a nice reveal with it. And we were just like, whoa. Because, I mean, you see it and you're just like, oh, Sonic, great. They're going to have a 2D again. Great. You know, the updated graphics are cool. No big deal, but. Wow. Yeah. And the release I, date hasn't come out yet. It just says late 2023. Yeah, it says they 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 had a date and then they took it away. Oh, yeah. Companies are struggling right now. I find I find a lot of games are coming out with content that's not ready, like overly bugged. Hmm. Like Call of Duty has been. Yeah, exactly. I know. I I I feel like due to the economy is my assumption. They're just understaffed overworked and not enough everybody employees. wants yeah everybody wants a lot more for a little Eat nuts. and it's just not working out right people want to pay people less win, baby, but win. get a shitload more you want to make everything to cost high but wages stay the same and it's not it sounds It'll good for a little bit but it's not working and the whole thing for that they'll go with it well it's inflation that's great but inflation is basically a secret tax. That's all it is. It's just a secret tax and it just gets added on. That's all it does. And everybody just keeps pushing it. And it's like, no. It's no. an imaginary thing that was created. You don't need to do it. Yeah. It's not and just a natural still doing it. <laughs> thing. There's a buzzing. I don't hear a buzzing. Uh, Haji would have told me a long time ago if he heard a buzzing. I don't, it might, maybe it's me. I don't hear it. No, I don't hear it buzzing. It might be the acid kicking. <laughs> Fucking juice. I was going to say maybe it's me because I'm not using my usual, like, mic. I'm using the headset. I mean, I got you pretty loud in my ear, just in case, like you said, when you said you, uh, if we can hear the dog, I heard the dog. I didn't know if they heard the dog, but I heard the dog, and I was like, fuck that dog. We're still talking. Who cares? He's there, he's there. Good for him. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, I think it's more, um, oh, code name. Okay, I think I know what you're talking about, but you should be fine. Um, that's because the AC is literally right next to me, and there's usually louder music playing in the background, but it's only me and that, that this guy named Is Haji Gaming right here. So ask him a fucking question for him to talk. That'd be great. Um, Baldur's Andy Gate Valor. 3. I'm going to be trying that, I think, in the next few days. What is it? What, what, what kind of game is that? So actually, believe it or not, my favorite game of all time is connected to the lore, kind of. My favorite games of all time are Dark... Uh, what am I saying? Dark Alliance. I almost said Dark Dimension. Uh, Dark Alliance 1 and 2. They made a rework recently, Dark Alliance Dungeons and Dragons, which was disgustingly awful. And Baldur's Gate is a continuation of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, and it's a very similar game, Dark Alliance. So it's kind of like a mm. hack and slash RPG in a sense, or a turn based hack and slash RPG. So. Like 
Mario RPG? Like, like Skyrim in a sense. Oh, like, lo okay. not not first person, but I'm saying like yeah. you, like like the new Harry Potter. You have side quests, you have quests, or like um, Diablo. Mm. You're upgrading your character. You're hacking and slashing your way through. You're just upgrading and completing your adventure. <laughs> I don't know, like Fuck a good right. way to describe it. <laughs> Fuck right, I said Mario RPG. I love that fucking game. That game was awesome. Um, but well. As long as it's not like Marvel Future Revolution, I think we got a good game go I think you got a good game going. Marvel Future Revolution went down the fucking toilet. That it was seeming like it was gonna be a decent game, and then it just said, fuck it, we're done. Guess it's not gonna be great. Even though it had the lore behind it, the lore did not save it at all. It was not great. Could have been a lot better, but eh. Who knows? Did you even play Future Revolution or no, no, I didn't. I it, be glad well, you you saved yourself some saved yourself some trouble. What's the one? Oh, I can't even explain it because I didn't last long enough on it. I think it's not the one where it's like a Mortal Kombat style game. That one's Contest of Champions, right? Yeah, Mortal Contest Kombat of Champions style. is like Mortal Kombat. Yeah. I think I downloaded Future Revolution and deleted it ten minutes in. <laughs> Pretty sure. It starts with like a big opening like fight scene in a city or something, right? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I think so. But then again, final uh, future fight was kind of like the same way too. But yeah, it was more. Uh, we everybody thought it was going to be one thing, and then it turned out to be another. And then you're just like, wow. It's kind of this kind of. Yeah, future rev just didn't live up to the hype of what it could be. And it just kind of died down because then you just kept doing repetitive shit over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And you're like, well, I'm done with this shit. And then by the time they added new characters, uh, I think Lord of the Rings maybe could have did OK if they did it with the current characters instead of trying to build on the lore from back in the day. And maybe upgraded the graphics a little bit just a little bit just a smidgen just a smidgen just so a you can actually see what's going on yeah i want to see what the fuck is going on because some of the stuff that's going on in that game just no no it was i didn't i didn't like it i wasn't invested in it fuck the characters but it is what it is i mean people are gonna pe some people love doing it yes MSF is repetitive, but they keep putting out new... Sh they keep giving you new characters. Future Revolution didn't do that. And by the time they did do that, half their player base bounced. So... It is what it is. Yeah, With MSF, I feel like the variance of just having new characters and having an emotional tie to the characters it was, is what keeps it alive. Or, like, it's what keeps it be long-standing game that's not actively crashing and burning like yes it's repetitive but there's always a new character that you've heard of and you can do research on and then you can go watch that character and you can have personal connection with that character so it's a little different yeah I'm, every sorry, now and then they surprise us not different from future revolution but just different in the sense of you you gain an attachment to the characters or to your roster. Hmm. Yeah, I, I would I would agree with that. That like every like we know there's new characters coming. We know you know Ms. Marvel Hardlight, even though we didn't ask for, her, she's coming. Um, and they they throw a wrench into everything, and you kind of got to figure out how to beat it, especially with different speed mechanics, different stuff on there, which I do like. Future Rev just didn't do that right away, and by the time by by the it just got stale and by the time they were like oh let's throw new shit in there and they were like oh well shit too late too fucking late we're done we're done with it boom bye bye but uh how do you feel about tower i wish it was a monthly staple like i wish it was like first of the month every month you get tower not too often we don't want it too often we'll get sick of it 
I know we all think we want it more often, but I think we'd get sick of it. Once a month, so it stays fresh. Mm. Maybe once every other month. I love Tower. I think, I think two. I think I think two times a month because it's only seven days. So mm. two times a month. You know, two times a month. Boom. We know it's coming. Boom, 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 boom. We're gonna get something. We're obviously gonna have to beat different characters, and 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 the hype does go up for it because you do want to get, you do want to get to level. Well, now 105. It'd be great to get to. They push it even further and go to 110. And it's like, man, give us more stuff with it, but change the rewards up so that way people go, fuck, I want to get to level 110 and see the the rewards out of it and be like, yes, yeah, yes, and then do it. For the scopely workload, they could do something along the lines of, so you know how there's a Crucible season start to finish? Yeah. The start and the finish of uh, like the tower season, right in the middle of that. So they'll change, because Scop scopely can't change tower rooms every month you just you know they won't so every theoretically every cosmic crucible season refresh we would get a new tower refresh with new characters and that would release in the middle of the crucible season so it's nice. yeah like it's not too much work for them because you remember you can't ask for too much or you'll get nothing so it's not too much for them it'd be really nice for us and then it's consistent content because we're getting something in the middle of crucible when that's when we start to get like a little bored or whatever you want to call it yeah before before they drop another character or two that's got a speed mechanic that goes oh well this character is going to change it up just a little bit because the speed's going to mess up with with a couple teams and somebody's going to place them with someone yeah, but change tower one character. is yep tower is is fun um how'd you like ultimate 30 32 also like a lot of fun like i go nuts for the games where we can actually theory craft i love it so much that the tower the nova trials scourge 2 but nova trials especially and then ultimate 32 is a blast well i mean we're gonna get another one more than likely they'll probably call it pax because it's black cat so she'll be a hero so we'll see how that goes and see how much fun that's gonna be hopefully they don't change it up too much i really don't i, I like the leaderboard part but I, the only part the, the part i like about scourge is you can do it as many freaking times as you want it's mm -hmm. all dependent on you it has nothing to do with your fucking teammates you don't have to wait for 23 other people to jump in it's just you so i'm hoping that it stays that way but they're gonna they said they're gonna change it we just don't know by what that's wow. why well, i think they're only changing oh, it for the villain. old characters so for the old characters they're changing it so that they're accessible for everybody um mm -hmm. but the upcoming trials are still going to be the same so we're oh, still going to have work. scourges nice. but basically how it's going to work is eventually nova is going to get moved over to that other form of scourge so that he's more easily obtainable instead of mm -hmm. like waiting for six months for him to come out they need to have him at all times so that's their solution they need to get fucking better rewards. That's what they fucking need to do. They need to fill yeah. up those couple other slots too. There's more slots in there. There's four slots in there. Fill up four slots with something. And fill it up to like at least somewhat to the max amount of points. Like up to three million or something. Because somebody's going to try to get to it. Fuck it. Have it in there. Put some, go put some gold orbs in there. Some training orbs in there. And people will start playing that shit every day. You will see shit going up. But who knows? Who knows when another, I'll it, but... another theory I saw too is uh, adding playoffs to Cosmic Crucible. Ooh, but like at the end of Cosmic Crucible, be... like you get a tournament, like the 32 tournament, but you get a playoffs to see who's on top in your bracket, who's the best. Mm, that'd be pretty good. That'd be nice. Well, it gives they, it more I mean, if they did brackets, too. yeah, they get brackets. They could have it. Uh, they could have the they. I wouldn't say extend the season longer, but they could still have it to where you have that number of things in there. Boom, you slot 32 of them in there. Boom, now we're going to see who's number one and go mm. from there. And it's still based on you. You don't do good, that's your fault. But, mm -hmm. but, ooh. So does anybody else got any more questions for Is Haji Gaming before we get to... Ooh, rapid fire questions. We wrap up. Wow, I didn't even notice it's been two hours. Holy shit. 
I know. I looked at the time and I was like, "What the hell happened?" <laughs> like, holy shit, that was quick. Like, damn, that's not a, it's it's not a bad thing. It's actually quite nice. Um, but are there any other questions you want to ask for Is Aji Gaming, man? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, favorite M oh favorite MSF tune pre Apoc Saga. I have there a little go. bit of a soft spot for Ultron. I've got him built up to gear tier 17, even though I don't plan to take him into gear tier 18. So that explains how much I like him. What, what, why not? He'll be, he'll, he'll be crazy. He's expensive. I might, I might. He's just not planned yet, but he is really expensive. But I, I kind of want to take Titania. I think she's more valuable than people think, and I could be completely wrong, but whatever. Um, but at that point, I could have some synergy. Titania with Ultron in the global room. It'd help a little um, bit, but probably not. I mean, she's global. It'll it'll help just having another global character, so it's good. It's not, why not? Shit. Why not? Because the global character is trying to get to all of them is nuts. And the fact that a lot of them are mutants, it sucks. Because it's hmm. like, fuck, this is getting really expensive. Gonna yeah, take mutant is what I'm behind to... on the most. I'm worse for mutant than I am for mystic. Oh, it's bad. Shoot, everybody complains about mystic, mystic this, mystic that, mystic dip, whatever. I don't know. This dark dimension right now is just. Uh, oof. I don't know. I don't know for now. All right. I, well... I'm nowhere close. I don't even have a gear tier 18 <laughs> character yet. So. Go no for stress. Rolk. He's still fucking great. Or Kang. One of those two will... Kang will probably be even... He, he's still going to be good for a while just because of the speed mechanic. So, And his damage output is ridiculous. So hopefully you get to him. If not, Rolk is another good one. Um, obviously, I mean, Apocalypse is a no-brainer, but you got to get Apocalypse and then get Big Boy Apocalypse first. But you yeah. still could get... You still could get them to 18, but depends on how much mutant gear you got to go ahead and spare. That's the only catch, which sucks. Behind on astral sucks. energy for Psylocke, and then it's ass energy. So uh, ass energy, that's fucking killing me. I hate it. Yeah, it's not the type of ass energy I want to look for, but whatever. It is what it is. All right, well. We're at, to the, we're at to that part. We're going to ask you 10 rapid fire questions. Basically, I'm going to ask you 10 rapid fire questions right off the bat. Uh, just answer whatever pops right into your head. So that way, when chat sees you next time, they just go ahead and, I don't know, talk shit about you for your answers. You have to deal with Great. the outcome. So cool. Great. Let's go for it. I will ask you this first one because it's the first and generic one we ask everybody. But which moon bitch? Moon dragon or moonstone? Moonstone. All right. Um, which is the which is the more niche character? Zemo or Noir? Zemo. Ooh, good choice. Uh, best Thor? OG Thor, Infinity Thor, or Mighty Thor? OG Thor. Ooh. With the fat suit on. <laughs> uh, here's a good one. Here's an interesting one. Vol or Nova? Vol. Oof. Um. Which. Okay. Which pool? Deadpool, Gwenpool, or Deathpool? Deadpool because nothing beats the Ryan Reynolds humor. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> which is the best Spidey? For you in the game, OG Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, Miles, Scarlet, Symbiote Spider-Man, Ghost Spider, Spider-Punk, or Big Time? Ghost Spider, Seven Red, both as big as I could go. Damn. Okay. Uh, which is the better? Which is the better opening taunt? Red Guardian, Sticky, or Drax? Sticky. Absorbing the question, man. by the way. Oh, okay, okay. 
or Drax. Uh, Red Guardian. I, I want to say Absorbing Man, but he's just so useless. I, I can't let him win at anything. Trust me, everybody thinks Sticky is just sucks. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Um, okay. Which has the best ping? AA? Black Ball? Death Pool? Or Kestrel? AA for turn meter rewinds. Mm -hmm. um, How many times do you say I'm going to get this kill to get that turn meter rewind? <laughs> Damn right. You want it. He would just want it. Okay. Last one. And this is a. Uh, you, you, you just let us know which one you think is best. And it's up, it's up to you. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. But which is the most satisfying? The Icarus 2 tap. The Thanos snap, or the Kang bang. Chris two tap, one hundred percent. I love Kang bang, but oh. there's nothing better than watching that one player go down and then killing everybody else. <laughs> I mean, it, it it feels like a, a massive achievement, especially if the team is big and you just see the one player go down and you're going, "Fuck, that's it, it's over." We're done. Yeah, and it and it's, it's more of a hope factor. With Kang, it's like, will he kill all three or will he kill five? With Icarus, it's like, okay, <laughs> I have to kill this one person or else. So you're like, you're relying on it. No suspense. Very true. Very true. Dude, this has been a fun two hours. I didn't think it would go this long. But hey, man, that's what happens when you're having a good goddamn time. Time just flies the fuck by, which is great. Um, please, everybody, go check out is Haji Gaming on YouTube. Go find his happy ass there. He is putting out some nice content there and make sure to go follow him. Um, do you know when you're gonna be streaming next? Likely tomorrow morning, 12 o'clock Eastern. There you Eastern. go. So 12 o'clock Eastern, go follow this guy. Let's get his ass to affiliate. Hopefully by tomorrow. Everybody, please go follow him. Let him know what's up. He'll be on tomorrow. Uh, do you know what you're gonna be streaming? Seven days to die. I'm gonna be oh. testing that out, doing a longer stream. All right, well, seven days to die. There you go, boom. So, but thank you for being on, bro. It's been a fucking blast, especially with a with a, with a fellow nerd. Thank you for having me. <laughs> with a fellow nerd. Dude, definitely a fellow been, nerd. Yeah, it, it is a blast. And for everybody in chat, I will be right back. We're just gonna have a nice little outro. I'll probably talk to Izhaji Gaming away for a second so if it's muted again you guys ain't sitting there tr trying to ask me what the fuck why am i talking nobody can hear me so i will be right back but till the next one y'all it's haji gaming and zero cool gamer rolling out <laughs>